Hey what's up guys, it's VMUP here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a banner for your YouTube channel. So to start this off, what I like doing is opening up a template that I created. You don't necessarily need this, it's just nice to visualize the resolutions that you can use. So you might as well go for it. The download link to this will be down below in the description. Uh, so you can use all these resolutions here. You can do the safe zone, which is visible on all devices. You could bump up to a tablet resolution or desktop. Uh, I personally like going for the TV template here uh, and then put the desktop resolution in the middle. But that's just me. Once you figure out what route you want to take, uh, you want to select this rectangular tool and click the screen. This will open up a box that will tell you to input two values for the width and height. Uh, since we're going for the desktop one, we want to do 2120 by 350 and hit OK. This will make a black bar appear on your screen. Then you just want to sort of center this in the middle and make sure you can't see the colors. If you have trouble doing this, it should snap on automatically, but if it doesn't, uh, you just want to hit this template layer, hit Control A, or you can do Select All, and then you want to hit the rectangle layer, hit this button here, and then up, uh, up on this bar there should be some little buttons. You just want to hit the vertical line and the horizontal line. This should center in the middle. Then you just hit Control D or Select Deselect. So once you have this uh, in the middle, you could make this your, your banner here. Uh, so you could do like a solid color or a gradient color and just add it to this. But what I want to do is make a picture appear. Uh, so I'll just open this up. You want to do open and we'll go to my pictures here. Select this space one. And we'll drag this to our template layer. And I'll just... Uh, I'll enlarge this a bit so control T will allow you to transform this layer and then you'll, we'll just uh, drag it so it's the same size as a template layer. Then we'll hit that button and apply the transformation. So then once we have that, uh, what I want to do is blur the outside where the TV layer is uh, and then just make the, the desktop layer in the middle clear. So to do that, I want to drag this rectangle layer above it so I can see it. Then we will right click it and hit rasterize layer. This will allow us to transform it more easily. And then we want to click this magic wand and select the black area. And uh, we want to go up to select and hit inverse or shift control I. This will select the area around this bar. Then we want to select the picture layer, hit control C or edit copy. Uh, this will copy this outside layer. And then we just want to make a new layer and paste this doing control V or edit paste um, onto the, the new layer. So if we get rid of this black bar and we'll just uh, hide this layer, you can see that the middle pops out. So we did that correctly. Then we want to select the, the two bars here, that, that layer. We want to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just blur this out a little bit. So we'll just go for that. Hit OK. Uh, once you figure out what blur amount you want. Then we will unhide this and as you can see it sort of fades out. You can do like a stroke around this desktop resolution layer um, but I think it looks nice just having it fade out I guess. So uh, right once we do that we can just put our YouTube name so I'll select the text here uh, make a little text layer and do our YouTube channel, so VMM Gaming. Then I'll just highlight this. I need to make this a little bigger. Uh, you can choose what font you want. Uh, a good site for that is defont.com. I'll put a link to that down below in the description in case you just want to look around, see some fonts and stuff. We'll just go for Century Gothic and uh, we'll bump up this uh, the pixel amount. So that might be good, I think. And uh, if we want to center this, again, we just select this background template layer, control A, um, select the text layer, and just hit those buttons. And then hit deselect. Uh, if we want to move this up, but still stay in the, uh, the center here, we just want to hit shift and then drag our mouse like that. If we try to go out here, it won't let us. Um, it just stays on that axis. So I'll move it up here. Uh, then we'll just go for like a bar. I'll make a little bar here. That's good. 
Uh, and then again, I'll center this. Okay, set those two. We'll uh, we'll change around the colors a little bit later, but I'll just move it like that. And then uh, we'll go for a little like slogan under here or something, whatever you really want. We'll do comment, uh, rate, subscribe. Uh, and this is too big. I want to make this smaller, so I'll just highlight it and change this. So I think that might be good, 36 pixels. And again, when I center this really quickly. All right, hit deselect and shift click down. So that goes below it, I guess. So that looks all good. Uh, we can change the color if we want to. I'll just do that as a demonstration. We could highlight it and do the color that way, or you could do a gradient overlay. Uh, just by selecting that and then we can do two colors here so I'll just go for a reflected style we'll do like purple in the middle is that right um, that should be good and then for the outside color we'll do like a blue that looks fine okay so then once we have that we can just copy this layer style here and then paste that layer style onto the second text text here. So that should appear. And now we can change the bar color. Uh, if we wanted to, we could do like color overlay. I'm just going to, again, do the gradient overlay. And we'll just keep that linear style. All right. So we'll just experiment with what colors we want. Uh, I could select that color. And then do like a... That, that really doesn't look good. We'll just go again with like the, the purple and stuff. Let's try to get that. And let's do like a blue. Um, let's try to go for a lighter one. Again, you can just experiment with the colors here. And once you have selected that, you can just do like a stroke if you want around it. Uh, it's really, again, whatever you want. Uh, we could pop that out a little bit, but I think this might be good. We could do an outer glow and change that color here. So we can do like a, a blue or something. So uh, then once you have this, you want to go up to File, Save As. This is when you're done. You could save it as a, a PSD format. This will just allow you to edit if you want to, you know, edit it again. Um, but I think we're pretty much done here. We'll just save it as a PNG file. So, whoops, we want to select a different name here. We'll just do final, uh, whoops, final banner. All right, we'll do smallest compression. Hit OK. And uh, this will save. Okay, so once you have successfully saved your banner, you want to go to your YouTube channel page here and you want to go up to where the current banner is and click this pencil and hit edit channel art. Once you do that, a box will appear and it will tell you to drag your photo here that you created. There is a max file size of 2 megabytes, so if your file exceeds that amount, uh, I would suggest saving it as a JPEG file uh, or something that is a little smaller, uh, or you could just compress the file using like an online site. But uh, we'll just select this photo from our computer. We'll go to our YouTube banner folder and select the banner, hit open, and it will upload the, the file. Okay, so once it uploads, it will show you some of the previews here, and uh, that's just what it'll look like on different devices. You can adjust the crop or auto enhance. I wouldn't really mess with that. I'll just hit select, and it should save our banner to our channel. So here's the banner that we just created. Again, you can do this however you'd like. You don't have to do it the way that I did it. Uh, you can add more stuff to it or whatever. Uh, it's really up to you. So that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you really loved it, please subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.